Okay, uh, we are going through the topic of traffic stream. So we said traffic stream is made up of drivers and vehicles. Then there are two types of highways. If you divide them on the basis of traffic flow, then, uh, they can be interrupted or uninterrupted. Then we have the two types of traffic stream parameters, which can again be uh, macroscopic or microscopic. We started with macroscopic parameters, okay, and uh, the the one which we discussed in detail was volume. Okay, things related to volume, uh, which we discussed: uh, daily volume, hourly volume, flow, rate of flow, and peak hour factor. Okay, and in the same category. We did this example in the end. So what is TMS and what is, what is SMS? Time and space yeah. Uh, and which one is uh, less than the other? No, SMS. Mm. SMS is less than the other because it incorporates the variation of speed. OK. The third macroscopic parameter that we are going to discuss is uh, density. Uh, how do we define density? Mass over volume. Mass over volume. Now, when we are talking about traffic, the mass of traffic is what? Traffic is made up of? Okay. So, when you say volume, you mean the space, right? You mean the space. So, uh, here in this case, it's the road space. So number of vehicles in a given space of the road, okay? And that space is a unit length of the highway. A unit length of the highway. Now if I take the unit of length as feet, I'm measuring density, and I take vehicles in a unit length of the highway, and I take the unit of length as feet. Now, how many vehicles will you have in one feet? 0.1. Huh? 0.1. 0 0.1, huh? Hmm? So your car is 10 feet. <laughs> okay, and if I take it in meters, Yeah. Okay. So, but you agree? If I take it in feet, it will be very a uh, very small number, right? Huh? Even less than point one. Okay. So, if I take it in feet or meters, density will be a very very small fraction, which we don't want. Okay. So, we take the length of unit as miles or kilometers. Miles or kilometers. Okay. Now if I ask you to measure density, how do you measure density? Like for this one, not the density of the material. How do you measure the, if I, if I ask you, okay, go to the highway and uh, measure the density on the road, how do you do it? Uh, Okay. Yes. Why is it difficult to measure? What's the problem? Yeah. Okay. Uh, one clarification uh, which uh, students need is this is not uh, vehicles per hour. There is no time here. Okay. So time is constant. So time is constant. If you count the number of vehicles which are passing, then there is time, right? Then you will count and the vehicles are passing in time. The time is going on. So we cannot call it density. We call it what? Volume. Volume or flow or flow rate. Okay? It's not density. Okay? <coughs> density is how many uh, vehicles are there in the, in the unit length right now? Okay? Without any uh, uh, changes with respect to time. Okay? So it's like... Uh, this room, 
Okay, so maybe there are 30 people in the room. So the density is 30. But if I count people who are coming in and going out from the room for two hours, I may get a number 50. Maybe. But is 50, were 50 people in the room at the, uh, at, a, at a particular time? No. Okay? So the same thing here. If you count number of vehicles for one hour, you get a value 2,000. But all, were all these 2,000 vehicles on the road at the same time? No. So the 2,000 is not density. Okay? So to measure density, so if I ask you, if I have to measure the density of the room, I'll tell you what. Okay, keep uh, uh, seated until I count all of you, right? Don't move until I count all of you, right? Can I do the same thing on the road? Mm -hmm. yeah, so everybody is stopped until I count all of you. If I say let's stop until we kill you, right? Huh? Yeah. Okay. So, not standard. Huh? standard. Standard will give you one value of density, but that will be a constant, right? That will be a constant value. The actual density can change. Okay. Yes. There is a standard, a standard length of the uh, car. You can find out a density, but that is one value of density. But this is not the only value of density. Density can change. Number of cars on the road can change. So, we have some sensors which you can install on the road. It can give you the value of density. We will talk about it in some later chapter. Okay. We have uh, another method which is to take a snapshot of the of the road. Okay. To take a snapshot, then you need. Uh, sorry. You need an aerial view, first of all, so that the picture is not blocked by anything. Okay, and you need high resolution, high enough resolution so that you can uh, count the beakers from the picture. Okay, so the placement is a problem, the resolution is a problem. And uh, another uh, alternative to that is uh, you take a satellite image, which is readily available, but it's difficult to get, right? Until you Unless you know Elon Musk, then if you know him, just go to him. Don't be here. Okay. So, uh, measuring density requires some sort of equipment, and you have to place the equipment under the road, over the road, get a picture, something like this. Okay. So, what do we do? What we will do in this chapter, I will give you some equations on the basis of which you can calculate density some other parameters which you can easily observe and that can give you density. For example, two uh, parameters which I, uh, which I have asked you to find out for your dumb project. What is that? You are thinking, what is a dumb project? There is a dumb project, okay? There is a dumb project, okay? Anybody remembers, anybody knows what you have to do in the dumb project? First submission. Because the name? No. Volume. Yeah. Huh? Volume. volume and uh, the speed. Speed. Okay. Counting the vehicles for a short time and measuring the speed. These two things are relatively easier to get and that can give you density. I asked in the other section what you have to find out for your term project in the first submission. They said group names. <laughs> okay. Why density is important? Uh, density is related to traffic demand. Okay, again going back to the example of the room, if there is more demand for the course, you will see more students inside the room, right? Uh, people from other sections also come to bother us, right? So same thing on the road. If the highway has higher demand, you will see more cars on the road, right? Density will be higher. Uh, understood? Simple, right? Yes, uh, density can affect other parameters as well. So more density means what? If, let's say I have uh, data for two different highways, one highway has a density of 50 per mile, the other one has a density of 70 per mile. Okay, which one will have more speed? 70. 70 will have more speed? Yeah. More density, less speed. Less speed, why is that? Because with more density, what will decrease? Yeah. Huh? The area. The, the area. Available area of the road. Less space. 
the space between the vehicles or the available area of the road. So you have the same area. In the first case, the same length is occupied by 50 vehicles. So you have more space available to you. In the second case, the same length is occupied by 70 vehicles. Okay, so you have less space available to you. So when you have less space, less area available to you, you reduce your speed, right? Or you should. And uh, then the speed has an effect on the flow as well. If speed is higher, that means the flow is more. If speed is lower, the flow is less. Clear? Okay. So dense, density affects your speed and speed affects your flow. Okay. You decide about your speed based upon the density of the road. Okay. How many vehicles are on the road? On the road. If you say how many vehicles can be on the road, that's a constant number. Okay, and then there are uh, uh, variables which you cannot measure, but density can be an indicator of those variables. For example, for example, comfort. Okay, <coughs> you cannot measure comfort, right? Comfort of the driver, you cannot yeah. measure it. Huh? Yeah. You can. Oh. You Okay, if I take the survey before your exam, after your exam, even you will give me different answers. Okay, so survey is, yeah, taste, it's not measurable anyways. Okay, yeah, you can measure it or you know the driver is very comfortable when he is sleeping. Then you know he is about to die and he will drive peacefully, so no, no problem. Okay, but otherwise you cannot meet it. Okay, and the same thing is the freedom, the freedom to maneuver. Uh, how easily I can change my lane, if there's a, something wrong with my car, I want to stop, how easily, how freely I can do it, and so on and so forth. So these things are not measured easily. Okay, you cannot measure them easily. But, and especially in a given condition, right now, even if you go for the survey, the survey is general. Okay, generally I'm comfortable driving at this. But what is happening right now? So uh, density can give you an idea about the comfort and freedom of the driver. Okay, because we said what? When density increases, what is less? Speed. Huh? But why the speed is less? Speed. Spacing, right? So uh, how comfortable you are, how free you, freely you are moving in traffic, it depends upon space, how much space you have. Okay, so uh, density is a good indicator of that. Now we move on to the microscopic parameters. Again, there were three microscopic parameters. Uh, what was the main difference between macro and micro? Yes. So microscopic is for a vehicle, right? We already discussed one parameter which we can take for each vehicle. What was that? Speed. Speed. Okay. So we already know that the speed is a microscopic parameter. You can measure the speed of any vehicle you want, right? Okay. Flow and density cannot be micro. Flow and density cannot be micro. You cannot say, okay, I made it flow for one vehicle. One of you came to me, right? The view, I will drive on the highway ten times. Huh? Huh? Those are guys. Okay, so density and flow cannot be uh, micro, but the speed can be micro. Okay, if it is for one vehicle, it is micro. Micro can be for a pair of vehicles as well. It's not always one vehicle, it can be for a pair of vehicles as well. Okay, so now we will look at two more microscopic parameters which are for a pair of vehicles. Okay, the first one is spacing. Okay, so spacing is the distance between the two vehicles. Okay, so when I say pair, the vehicles are next to each other. Like, uh, the first 
one and then the second one, okay? So that's a pair, which are coming one after another. So the spacing is the distance between two vehicles which is measured for a common reference, okay? The spacing is the distance between two consecutive vehicles which is measured for a common reference. What do I mean? You see two vehicles in the in the picture, right? Okay. One distance is this one, huh? which you already know. When you're doing the driving lessons, they will ask you to maintain this distance, right? Okay. Behind the other vehicle, and the other distance is this one. So this is the one which we use. Okay. Why? It starts from here and ends here. So that's a common reference. Okay? It is started from the front, so it will end at the front. Okay? If you start from the rear, then you have to go till the rear of the other vehicle. Got it? Okay? So spacing is not the clear distance between two vehicles. What's spacing that, is? What is that supposed to measure? The spacing. Are the in terms of distance. It's small distance in between two cars, how far they... The small distance is how, how much clear distance you have. Yeah. Okay, how much clear distance you have. But the spacing includes the length of the vehicle level. Yeah, I mean the spacing. The spacing. Yeah. How is that uh, important? Why is that important? Because it is important. Okay, uh, it's important from the point of view of traffic flow. From the point of view of traffic flow. I will come back to it. Okay. Uh, microscopic parameters have their importance. I will come back to it. Okay. Anyways, but you get the point now? What is spacing? Everybody understands? Okay. So, uh, when you measure from the front till the front, then the length of the vehicle is part of the spacing, right? In any way you measure, if you have the common reference, then the length of the vehicle will be part of the space. If you measure from the rear, and you go till the rear, then the length of the vehicle is part of the space. Got it? Yes. Clear? Yes. Okay. Now, if uh, if I measure a spacing between two vehicles, I will get the value. I will get a value. Okay. If I keep on measuring it, I will get, keep on getting different value, right? Drivers will not maintain the same spacing. Every pair of vehicles will not have the same value, right? So you can get different values. And then you can take their average. So the average is facing is dA, a small dA. Small dA is the average of spacing. Okay? Now when you uh, take an average spacing, for example, it comes out to be uh, 100 feet. That's it. The average spacing is 100 feet. So what, what is, what do I have after every 100 feet? Station. Huh? Station. Station? No. Here, here. Uh, 100 feet is what? Spacing, right? Spacing between two vehicles. So after every 100 feet, there is another vehicle. Okay? So when I give you a value of average spacing, what am I telling you? That on average, after every so many feet, there is a vehicle. Got it? Clear? Okay. So this is length per vehicle. Length per vehicle. And if I do the inverse, it will be vehicle per unit length, right? What do we call unit vehicle per unit length? No. Density. Vehicle per unit length is density. Okay. So that means what? Average spacing is length per vehicle. If you do the inverse, it will become vehicle per length, which is density. Clear? Clear? Okay. What is this 5280? Conversion. Okay. We need a conversion here because uh, the spacing will be. Uh, uh, what did I say about density? Density has to be what? Because per kilometer a mile, right? It has to be a bigger unit because a small unit you will not have any significant value, right? Same thing with the spacing. If you take the spacing in miles, you will have a very, very 
uh, insignificant value. Huh? You will not have, cars do not have a spacing of miles between them, right? It's only few feet, okay? So the spacing has to be in feet and the density has to be in meters per mile. So you need the conversion here. Clear? Clear? Okay? If you try to, if you try to use it without conversion, one of these numbers will be very, very small. Either the density value will be very small or the spacing will be very small. So we are avoiding this. And this is when you have the spacing in meters and the density then will be in vehicles per kilometer. Okay, so meters, kilometer. Clear? Okay. Five feet and mile. Feet, mile. Clear everybody? Hmm? Okay. Then we have headway. Headway is again between pair of vehicles and it is the time. Okay. The time taken uh, from one vehicle to another vehicle to cross a point, again for a common reference. Time between the first and the second vehicle to cross a point for a common reference. Okay. So, let's say this guy is here. This is the observation point. So when the first car, the reference point of the first car is at the green line, hopefully he will start his stopwatch. Uh, maybe he is looking at his notifications right now. But by the time this car reaches the green line, he will start the watch. He will start the time. Okay? And when the yellow line reaches the same point and the same reference, he will note it down and that time will be headway. Clear? Okay? Hmm? And common reference again means that if he started with the front bumper, then he has to wait till the front bumper. If he started with the rear bumper, he has to wait till the rear bumper. Clear? Clear? Okay. Again, if you measure uh, headways multiple times, many times, Okay, you will get lots of values. You can do the average, and that average headway is represented with HA. So HA is the average headway. Okay. Now, what are the units here for headway? Units are seconds. Okay, seconds. If I give you an average headway value, let's say three seconds. What am I telling you? After every three seconds. There, there are new cars, right? There are new vehicles. So, if this is time per vehicle, average headway is time per vehicle. And if you do the inverse of it, it will become vehicle per unit time. So, what is vehicle per unit time? Volume or flow rate, right? So, if you do the inverse of average headway, average headway was week, uh, time per vehicle. If you do the inverse, it will become vehicle per unit time. Which is flow rate. Clear? Clear? Any questions? Okay. And what is this? The conversion factor. Okay, very well known. And again, you have to apply it because uh, flow rate cannot be in seconds, vehicle per second, and headway cannot be in hours. Okay? But this is time. So, you don't have to worry about whether it's a matrix system or SI system or whatever. Huh? Time is time. It's useless everywhere. What's the use of the Sorry? What's the use of the I'll come back to it. Okay, clear up till now. Clear? Okay, now uh, if you have a look here, it says vehicles per hour, we know. Flow rate is vehicles per hour, and then it says per lane as well. If you go back to the this slide, you will see the same thing. We know density is vehicles per mile, but then it says per lane as well. So it is per lane here and per lane there as well. Where does it say about lanes? Anything mentioned about the lanes here? No. Hmm? So what about space? In the lane, right? If you are measuring the spacing between two vehicles, they have to be in the same lane, right? So it's default per lane. You are measuring for the same lane, right? You cannot measure for two different lanes. 
You cannot measure spacing and headway for two different lanes. Otherwise, you will have two cars going at the same time. Okay, no spacing, no headway. Okay, so uh, since we are using uh, this, then it is per lane. Another thing is I'm using average spacing here and average headway there, right? Average. Somebody takes one value of a spacing, he measures between two pay, uh, two cars, and he puts it in the equation, he gets a value of density. That's the value, just there's a value. But this value is not accurate because you cannot just take two cars and they say in the whole mile it's the same thing. What is the standard? Huh? What is the standard? The standard for average, usually at least 30. But not the standard for this one. Standard for an average. To, for an average to be considered good enough, we take 30 values. Same thing here, okay? Somebody takes a headway, find out, uh, finds out uh, flow rate, not good enough. Okay, it will not be an accurate value. Two cars passed in two seconds. And then you are saying for the whole hour, this is the flow rate from two seconds, doesn't make any sense. Okay, so should be an average. Okay, then uh, there was this question why, where do we use spacing, where do we use headway, and so on and so forth. So uh, you can see one application. If I give you spacing, you can give me what? Density, right? So if spacing is microscopic, density is macroscopic. If I give you headway, you can give me what? Flow rate. Flow rate. Okay. So again, one is microscopic, the other one is macroscopic. Okay. So microscopic parameters can be used to calculate the macroscopic parameters. This is one application. Okay. Side application. More important application of all microscopic parameters is to study the behavior of uh, in a specific type of vehicles or a specific type of drivers to see their effect on traffic. Okay, so if I tell you that uh, the flow is 1000 meters per hour, I, I did what? I combined everybody into one value. But these 1,000 vehicles are not the same. Some of them are going faster, some of them are going slower. Okay? Some of them need more space, some of them need less space. Okay? And so on and so forth. So if you rely on macroscopic parameters, density and mean speed and so on and so forth, you cannot know what is the behavior or effect of a specific type of vehicles or drivers on the road. You cannot know it. Okay? To study them, then we need microscopic parameters. Okay, so if I if I want to see the effect of buses on traffic, then I will take the speed of buses. I will not take mean speed. I will look at the spacing, how much spacing the buses are keeping with other drivers, or the other drivers are keeping with the bus. And same thing for the headway. Okay, so headway, spacing, and individual speeds are used to study the behavior. Okay, you can study the behavior of specific drivers as well. Hmm? How, how, what is the behavior of a learning driver as compared to uh, an old driver? Okay, and so on and so forth. So this is a more important application of microscopic parameters to study the behavior. Clear? Okay. Now, uh, is spacing is what? What is spacing? Distance, right? And what is headway? Time. Distance upon time. Speed. It is a speed, okay? Others who are thinking, it is a speed. This is upon time. It is a speed for 1000 rupees. Okay? So that means what? Distance was spacing and time was headway. Right? So distance upon time is a speed, meaning spacing upon headway is speed. Clear? Clear? Okay? Uh, uh, and again, we are using average values. Okay? Spacing upon head. Speed. Okay. Again, we are using average values. So the speed I will get is what? Huh? Average speed. 
We use a specific term in the last lecture. Mean speed, right? Uh, two, two types of mean speed. TMS and SMS, right? Which one is it? SMS. SMS? Because it's average? TMS is also average. TMS is also an average. This is SMS, yes. This is SMS. The rule is whenever we are using speed in traffic flow <laughs> equations, it is always SMS. In traffic flow equations, it was always SMS. Okay, and uh, here you are using uh, distance. Okay, so if you go back to the uh, the mean speed equations, there was distance in the SMS equation. Okay, there was distance in the TMS equation as well, but I told you that was not not necessary. You can remove it with the value of speed direct. Okay. Sorry. SMS is for traffic flow. Any anything related to traffic flow, we use SMS. Macro. SMS is macro. SMS is macro. Okay. Since the spacing will be in feet, the uh, headway will be in seconds, so I need a conversion factor. Okay. So this will give me speed in miles per hour. Okay. This is a conversion factor for feet per second to miles per hour. And if you want the speed in kilometers per hour. Your spacing will be in meters, headway will be in seconds, and this is the conversion. Clear? Clear? Any questions? Any problems? Okay. So we have a congested multi lane highway. It has a spacing of this much, headway of this much. We have to find out flow density and uh, speed. Okay, tell me, flow equals to what? Huh? Flow was the inverse of what? Inverse of headway. How much? Sorry. Okay. And density was the inverse of what? Spacing. Tell me. If you ask me again, I will just ask you to just add all these numbers, the decimals, and in the end, whatever number you get, you give me those many cars. Okay, I will keep it. One car plus or minus, I don't mind. Okay, it's not 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 my car. Yeah, how much? Huh? Twenty-six point. Okay, speed was what upon what? Headway was spacing. See, speed keeps on changing. Spacing over headway. Sure. Uh, okay. In the last section, it it started with uh, vehicles upon something. So there's a problem with the speed, right? Mm, keeps on changing. Huh? Yes. comes to these things, you guys are very smart. Yeah. You will not write the units because you don't know what is happening. <laughs> when I cut your mark, you say, doctor, you are cutting my mark because of the units. No, because you don't know. Yeah, how much? <laughs> Any problem? Any questions? Clear? Okay.
Our traffic stream has a headway of 2.4 seconds at speed of 55 miles per hour. Find out the density and rate of flow. Now my first question is, which speed is this? Huh? SMS. Okay, it's SMS. We have to find out the density and rate of flow. Now density was inverse of what? The spacing. Do I have spacing? I don't have. Okay, keep it aside. Then we have rate of flow. Rate of flow is the inverse of what? Headway. Okay, so we can start with headway. Not from there, yes, but. We will, yes, we will, don't worry. 1,500. Okay, so uh, I, I need the spacing. I don't have the density to find out the spacing, uh, but I have what? What else is given? Speed is given, okay, so a speed is 55 and I know speed equals uh, spacing upon headway, right? So I can find out the spacing from here. How much? Uh, 194. Okay, then I can find out the density, no problem. It's the inverse of the spacing. How much? 27.2. Any problem? Yes. Okay. Uh, this equation which you see on the board is the most important equation, the most basic equation, the primary equation of traffic flow. You can see there are three parameters in this equation. B is flow rate, S is speed, and D is density. Flow rate, speed, density. So we know there are two types of parameters, right? Which type is this? All of them are macro. That means the speed is SMS, right? So speed is SMS, space means speed. For calculating the space means speed, if you go back to the equation, you will see I need the distance. I need the distance. That's why we call it space means speed. Because the speed over the distance, okay? What are the units of density? Vehicle per mile. Okay, you can write the units in the exam. Vehicle again, the so there's a the distance, right? The speed over a distance and density over distance. What about flow? Over time. Over time, right? Is there any distance there? No. So you can stand at a point and give me the flow rate. Right? So let's say this is my entire section. When I measure the speed, I use this entire section. When I measure density, I use this entire section because both of them need distance. So I need I take the distance of the section. Okay? But what about flow rate? If I ask you to give me flow rate, maybe one person will go here, stand at this point, take the flow rate. Another person may go at this point and take the flow rate. Is it possible, right? Yes. It is possible. Okay. Now for this equation to work, the flow rate at point 1 and point 2 should be same, right? Because this side is not changing. The speed and density are the same for the entire section. So that means whether I take the flow here or there or anywhere in this section, 
Yeah. It should give me the same answer, right? Same time. Any time. Yeah, yeah, same time. Yes, yes. Same time. It should give me the same answer, right? Clear? Clear? Now, but when uh, it may not happen. Let's say you have a ramp here. So people are entering from the ramp. So if I take the flow after the ramp and before the ramp, will it be the same value? No. It cannot be. Okay, so that means the equation is violated, right? The equation doesn't work then. The equation doesn't work. Yes. If I want this equation to work, I should limit myself where the ramp is coming. Before the ramp, I cannot use the same values, right? S and D has to be changed. Clear? Clear? So they call it a uniform section. The section where nothing is changing. Okay? So this equation works on a uniform segment. So the uniform segment, S and D are for the whole segment, and the flow also doesn't change. So this equation works perfectly. Okay? It will keep on giving you the same value for all the points of the uniform section. But whenever the uniformity is broken, so you have a ramp, or the number of lanes increase or decrease, or anything else happens, which can change the flow, you have to now break the section into parts. And every part will be taken separately. Okay, so if there's a ramp here, I will take the portion before the ramp as one part and the portion after the ramp as another part. Okay, and I will recalculate S and D for each part and the flow will be only for that section. Clear? For that part of the section. Clear? Any questions? Okay. So remember, flow equals speed into density. Now these are two very small uh, questions. So in the first question you have, let me put the equation over here. So the basic equation is okay. So in the first case you are given with SMS and uh, density, you are required to find out rate of flow. Easy, right? Yes. Okay. In the second one, you have SMS and rate of flow, and you are find out. You are required to find out density. Any problem? Clear, yeah, right? You can do it. Okay. Now the thing after this will need more time, and I don't want to start it and then break it down. So we will start it next time, inshallah. Okay. Any questions? Okay. Thank you.